CRISPR technology is the newest buzz around the science community as it has revolutionized genetic modification. You may ask, what exactly is CRISPR? It is a system that has been designed to locate specific genes, cut them, and exchange them with a modified version of that gene. That technology has been around since the 1980s. CRISPR is different in that it has enabled scientists to modify more specific regions with ease while drastically decreasing costs and erasing efficiency. It's made of two components. RNA and the Cas9 protein. Cas9 is a protein that was originally found in Streptococcus pyogenes, a bug that may cause strep throat and flesh-eating disease and acts as scissors to cut and splice the sequence. The CRISPR system is based off a natural defense mechanism that is found in bacteria and that is intended to combat viruses. The molecules move as a unit with RNA acting as a guide towards the gene section and Cas9 acting as the scissor of the DNA. The mechanism allows specific genes to be targeted in exchange for other sequences easily and efficiently so scientists can test different combinations of genes and edit the cells. So far, the prospective uses of the technology include modifying genes to combat sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, and improve existing genes to increase crop growth. It can also be used to test the effects of different drugs on organisms with single gene mutations, a pharmaceutical advance that has countless benefits for the future of medicine. Many see CRISPR as the key to feats like eliminating world hunger, reversing harmful genetic mutations, and possibly stopping cancer cell growth. Despite the fact that CRISPR technology has revolutionized the field and expanded the potential of genetic modification, there are many ethical issues regarding its use. CRISPR breaks down many of the barriers by making it easier and cheaper for scientists to modify genes, but easy to use also means easy to abuse. It is dangerous because it can be used in any organism and the mutations made to the original sequence may cause unintended alterations that can spread rapidly through a population. The most controversial portion lies in the fact that CRISPR works well with cells under germline, such as sperm, eggs, and embryonic cells, which makes it easy for the mutations to be passed on to offspring. We do not yet understand the potential consequences and side effects of CRISPR, but it has changed the groundwork for further research on genetics. What is your take on CRISPR? Should it be extended to clinical use? Leave your suggestions in the comment section below.